Good morning. I am, I took my wheel apart <laughs> and gave it a cleaning and put down the, um, plastic bag to help with the cleanliness and I'm for real going to do this. I'm going to make a bowl out of cream cheese. It's going to happen. So this I have here is um, the Griffin grip. Good morning. And I'm going to put one of the plates that I made on it. And get it cinched down. Then I will put some gloves on. And um, the reason I'm putting this on the Griffin grip is because the Griffin grip is really porous and cleaning it just did not seem feasible. Um, and I came to that conclusion, of course, after I had taken the wheel apart. Good morning, Nicole. I'm explaining this mess that I have going on here. Um, and of course the Griffin grip doesn't want to work right. It's not a surprise what's going on. I'm just trying to get it to tighten down. Hmm. We might just have to go without it. How is everyone today? Hi, Gunner. I, for reals, am having technical difficulties. Um, I'm using this piece, this tool here, called a Griffin Grip, um, to hold the plate that I'm going to put the cream cheese on. <laughs> and it just doesn't want to work right for me this morning. There we go. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, we've got spinning, but it's not moving. This is embarrassing. How's everyone doing? <laughs> You're watching me struggle, Marisa. The inner workings of a pottery shop. So this is the inside of the Griffin Grip. It's got the little things that are supposed to slide. Um, and then they pinch down on whatever you are putting in there. And I am just going to uh, fake it, I guess. I don't, I don't know what's wrong and I don't feel like I should troubleshoot it right now. Underneath of the plate, let me wipe this off real quick. There we go top of the plate. Oh, now it wants to move. That's funny. Okay. At 
that's a form of center. Center-ish. Okay. I'm going to put on some gloves. Because for reals, we're going to eat out of this. At least make an attempt to eat out of it. You can see in the background the container of Philadelphia cream cheese. I had to save it from my husband. He was going to use it with breakfast this morning. I was like, no! I need that! And he's like, why do you need this? I'm like, I am going to make a cream cheese bowl this morning. And he's like, are you crazy, lady? Pretty much. Um, yeah, I can tell that this is not even close to being centered. <sighs> so much for the plastic bag. That didn't work out. Okay. Now that I've got everything situated, proof is in the pudding. I'm literally going to do this. If it's a mess, at least it was on a recorded. And maybe funniest home videos. So my uh, the re the thing that made me think of this is I have seen people compare porcelain clay, porcelain, it's not porcelain clay, porcelain to cream cheese, that it has a consistency of cream cheese. So why not? Wait. You forgot the plastic. I know I forgot the plastic. It's gonna make too much noise. <laughs> All right, done. Couldn't I just take a spoon and dig it out of the center? Oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh. Why not? Here we go. I'm going to <laughs> cone up cream cheese. Oh, it's so slimy. It's not gonna wanna stick to the bat, so I can't do too much pressure on it, I don't think. Let me get it centered at least. And I, I'm not using any sponges or any tools. I took everything in to get cleaned. And I say in to get clean, like, I don't know. <laughs> Carlene, yes, very pretty. Um, the uh, plate I'm putting this on is one of the plates that I made. Um, it was part of a set. The set got broken up because somebody loved the uh, turquoise one, teal one. I don't want to move this around too much, so I'm just going to give it a little smudge to get it centered. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, honestly, this does feel like porcelain. Very cold porcelain, mind you. And my centering is not working this morning. My center is off. Okay. I've got my throwing finger ready. What do I do with this? I guess I could put it back in the container. Now you might be thinking, what am I gonna do with the cream cheese bowl? So I was thinking of putting like a fruit chutney or something in it. What do you think? Um, yeah, I'm going to use it for dip. Yeah, definitely a dip. Um, I was thinking salsa, but then I'm like, I made this cream cheese bowl, which is going to be like fancy, and I'm going to put salsa in it. Um, I don't know. Salsa just doesn't seem fancy to me. All right, we've got it pretty well centered. <laughs> 
going in. I've got my throwing finger ready, properly placed glove. I'm not going to turn this wheel up too fast because I have a feeling that if I turn it up too fast, cream cheese is going to go flying. And I literally just did a, a, a very minimal attempt at um, cleaning this place. I wiped off some walls. Hmm, it's working. Oh, pickles would good, be good. What if I like make it sort of a dessert thing? Okay, I'm gonna pull it out. Just a little bit. Okay, I can't believe this is working. I thought for sure this was gonna be comedy TV. Um, yeah, okay. So let's do this. And of course, Heather's house of roundish things is not, it's not level. Um, <laughs> Let me see if I can rim center cream cheese. So rim centering is when you open it up a little bit and um, you sort of hold on to it like you would a tire and use that um, to even out, in this case, the cream cheese. Which name do you love, Carlene? Heather's House of Roundish Things or Gloria's Pottery Barn? I could literally stop here and be like very, very pleased. Um, it sort of looks like a bunk cake right now. It's a little lopsided. I literally have no tools. Um, I took them all inside on purpose so that I wouldn't mix clay with food. And I mean, clay's not gonna kill you, but. I didn't wanna mix my tools. Okay, let's uh, see if we can get it to come up. Whoops, got a gob of, that one touched the, that one's not going back in there. That one will. Oh no, it's coming apart. I think I'm, I took too long. That's what it is, I took too long. It's getting warm. Oh wait, that's gonna work, that's gonna work. I just have to be a little more ingenious. Okay, so when I get into the cold center, it's working. So I'm just gonna pull off the warm stuff. <gasps> okay, so I wouldn't recommend coning cream cheese um, because when you cone it, you're actually heating it up and the thing that makes cream cheese consistent is it being cold? It's just the little things you discover on Andrea's coin turn of Heather TV. Okay. It's a bowl of shape. I wish I had some sprinkles out here. Maybe I could put some cinnamon sugar sprinkles on it. Oh my goodness, it's sort of turning out. My hands are freezing now. Sort of like porcelain, I feel like overworking this is just a bad idea. Um, I'm gonna give it a pull. And 
off comes the top. Yeah, it's getting it's getting hot. I think I'm gonna stop here. Sort of fun. Let's go down a little more so we can get better bullish shape here. right um i'm sort of liking this it sort of goes with heather's house of roundish things theme it's got waves um it's got style <gasps> no this is really fun um so i also thought I, i'm gonna stop here by the way i'm gonna clean off this extra and just put it on the sheeting that i have here um I thought I would show you some of the things that have um, been created here recently. Ooh, cream cheese. <laughs> so funny. And there we have it. What do you think? Um, bye, Carlene. Have a good one. It's pretty pretty okay. Yeah, pretty okay. Um, you know, I've got cream cheese everywhere. <laughs> I love you guys. Uh, Heather's uh, Pottery Barn retail store is still open for those of you that are procrastinators. Um, I will tell you, it's got better stuff than Walmart does. So, give me a holler. Oh, crushed Oreos. So fun. Love you guys. Have a good day. Enjoy your holidays and Merry Christmas.